Hello, my name is Jasmohan Singh Bajaj. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition in Virginia Commonwealth University and McGuire VA Medical Center in Richmond, Virginia. I'm here to present the findings of a study entitled Cognitive Dysfunction is Associated with Poor Socioeconomic Status in Subjects with Cirrhosis, an international multicenter study, on behalf of my colleagues in Virginia, as well as colleagues in Ohio and Rome, Italy, where the study was held. The whole reason for this study is, while we in hepatology know that patients with cirrhosis who have impaired cognition, that is patients with or without minimal hepatic encephalopathy or covert AG, have problems with their medical outcomes, there has been few multi-center studies seeing whether socioeconomic status can actually be a, a consequence of this as well. The reason why this is important is because many people who are seen in clinic are not tested for minimal or covert hepatic encephalopathy partly because the clinicians who are seeing them uh, need uh, some more evidence that this affects patients and their family members in more ways than just the medical outcomes that we have been able to prove so far. Therefore, this study was carried out on the basis of a previous study done only in our institution uh, in which we found substantial financial insecurity in patients with cirrhosis and to extend it into other centers uh, uh, in uh, Italy, and in uh, another center in the United States. For the purposes of the study, we recruited 236 patients, 102 from Ohio, 80, uh, 82 from uh, Virginia Commonwealth University in McGuire VA Medical Center in Virginia, and uh, 50 from uh, La Sapienza University of Rome in Italy. Uh, what we did with these patients, we gave them a standardized cognitive testing and also a MacArthur sociodemographic validated questionnaire. In that questionnaire, we ask about the patient's employment, uh, previous uh, so current socioeconomic status, uh, which is represented by education, as well as uh, their current family income, and how long they can stay if they were in their current situation, if their income was stopped, and how much debt they have, and subtracting all of that into a very coherent and actually very practical and understandable financial picture. What we found was there was substantial financial insecurity spread out across the whole group. Even though there was a lot of difference in the socioeconomic status between the three centers, that is, Ohio had the worst socioeconomic status and Virginia, people interviewed in Virginia had the best, ultimately as a group, the patients had a correlation of the cognition, especially tests such as inhibitory control test lures, digit symbol test, and line tracing test and serial dotting test, with personal and family income, and also these tests were highly related to the state of the patient's employment. That is, the employed patients had a significantly better cognitive uh, performance than unemployed people across all centers. What we also found that patients with cirrhosis had very bad financial conditions across all three centers. These conditions actually ranged from only 37% current employment Patients had a personal income uh, less than $25,000, uh, and this income was, when they combined the whole family, it was less than $50,000. Patients were only able to live three to six months in their current, current place if all income had stopped, and the current saved income was negligible, which means less than $500 if their debt was also subtracted. Therefore, this cognitive status, uh, which was correlated with this income and the family income, gives us a reflection on how these patients may actually perform in real life and give us a whole perspective, a holistic perspective on the patient's ability to do certain tests, uh, to show up for procedures, to, able to be, have the ability to afford medications and to actually come for clinic appointments for reasons that may be other than purely medical. Uh, on individual tests, center analysis, we found that cognition continued to be very related with personal and family income and also correlated with uh, the patient's um, you know, current uh, financial situation uh, and employment status. This was true for all three centers and, when, uh, and was true uh, as a group as well. Therefore, this multi-center study shows us that cognition in cirrhosis has ramifications beyond simple medical abnormalities. This can affect the patient's quality of life as we knew before, however, it can also directly impact on the patient's socioeconomic status represented by employment and by uh, personal and family income. Thank you.